Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Hope everyone is doing wonderful today. Um, I wanted to work on this little sign here that I got at the Dollar Tree last week. I absolutely love these, and I think these are going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to paint this, and I am going to paint the Merry Words red here, and then we're going to do some browns and lighter browns on the little deer head. Um, these are the colors I picked out that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Imperial, and it's the chalk paint. Now, it doesn't matter which paint you use. I'm just kind of using what I have here and the colors that I like. So it, it really doesn't matter. You can use chalk paint. You can use acrylic paint, whatever you want to do. So um, this is the Imperial Red, and then I'm going to be using some of this um, Apple Barrel acrylic paint. It's just the real brown, it's called. And then I do have some of this metallic that I'm going to use to decorate a little bit on this after we're finished with it. And this is just deco art. And I think I got this at Michael's, I'm pretty sure. But I'm, you can get this anywhere. It's just called Dazzling Metallics and it's Shimmering Silver. And then I just have some white paint here. And I hope this one's better than my other one because the one I used to work on this earlier was really lumpy. I need really need to get out and get some new paints is what I need to do because some of these are pretty old. But anyway, those are the paints I'm going to use, and of course you're going to need some brushes. Um, I have these little pom-poms. We're going to put one of these little pom-poms on his nose. That These are from the Dollar Tree. And a little hot glue you're going to need, and that's pretty much it, I think. This is a real easy project. Maybe a piece of sandpaper, because um, on parts of these here, if you can see it, it's really kind of rough. And if you just take a little sandpaper over it, just a little bit, it takes off those little rough cuts that are on there. Or if you don't have sandpaper, you can probably use like, um, if you have like a sponge with a scrubby side to it, you can use one of those too, just to get these little pieces off of here. Because I know not everyone happens to have a piece of sandpaper laying around. But, yeah, that's it. You just kind of want to smooth off of any of those little rough edges that you see. It's really easy. It comes off. And it has this really nice little hanger on the back, so we're just going to leave that attached. I'm going to take off this tag. Um, but yeah, I was really happy to find these at the Dollar Tree last week. And I just can't wait to get started on some more Christmas DIYs, because it is my favorite time of year. So, and excuse my band-aid here, but I have a nasty looking little cut here on my hand from my one parrot who I have to give medication to three times a day, and he's really not that thrilled with having stuff shot in his mouth. So he got me, gave me a little, well, not a little, a good bite the other day. But I don't blame him. I would be biting somebody too. But anywho, just to paint this now, you're just going to need a brush. Um, and this, I'm going to do two coats on the front of these, just to make sure that that's covered nice. This does, this paint covers really well. Depending on your paint, you can tell whether you're going to need one or two coats. But um, I'm going to do two coats on the front, and I'm going to do one coat. I'm just going to paint the entire back red just to finish it off a little bit. But it goes on real easy on this because it's like a, a pressed cardboard kind of a sign. And then you're going to want to get in all your sides here. Now this is what takes the longest, just getting all of these sides done and trying to get down in all these little crevices to get those painted. But it's not hard, it just takes you a little time to get all this covered nice. But, like I said, it goes on real easy on this like press board here. So, I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this whole thing. I'm just going to get this front of this M here painted. And then I'll show you what I did here over by the deer, because it gets a little confusing over there, and I couldn't figure out whether or not... Um, Alright, let's leave that at that for right this second. I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to make the antlers go over the R. See how it's like that? Or if I want the R to go over the antlers. So I did decide that it's much easier to just do the R and just have his little ear stick over a little bit. So all I did was I took a pencil here and just kind of marked it out how, you know, try to get the shape of this R here. So it kind of looks like the other one. And if you're right on this and you don't like it, it erases pretty easy off of here. So if you have any ends that you don't want. 
So see how I just made the R so it looks nice and round? But then his ear, I was very confused on how to do that. His ear is going to come up over the R just a little bit, like so. And then it just kind of goes into this antler here. I might have this one a little low. But then I just erased the one part of the R, so his little ear is going to stick out over the R. So it kind of matches this side. This one I think I need to bring up a little higher. But anywho, when you get to that part, you're going to want to just mark out your R. And same thing down here, um, where it gets down to its little face. You just kind of got to try to make it look like this side. And I just trace it around here and just so I know not to paint over that part of his face. All right, so that is what I did for that. So then you're just going to paint all of this red, and then when we get over here to our little reindeer, we're going to use some of this brown here for his antlers. I already have one that I painted up, so this won't take too, too long here, because you guys get the idea on how to put on some paint. And then, on, well, I can use that. Um, for the antler here, let me set this brush here because I'm going to need that again here in a second. Um, a smaller brush. I thought I had three brushes here. Whatever. I'm going to grab another brush. Uh, this will work fine. It's kind of a crooked brush here. But for the antlers, I painted those in the, just the real brown so that they would be a little bit darker than his face. So you're just going to do that, and then when you get down here, you just kind of want to make a line across so you don't paint down on his little face. And get all in on all the sides. Yeah, this isn't the best brush for this, but i got to wash some of my brushes again. I've been messing around with paint here all day. And, you know, you're going to get the sides. And the back, like I said, I just painted the whole thing red in the back, so I'm not even going to worry about um, getting any paint on there, because that's all going to be red back there. But, you know, if you want to go into detail and do the deer in the back, too, well, then that's fine, too. And, you know, you got to get down in all these little creases here and get that all painted up nice and brown. Let me just go over here, do this real quick. This is not the best brush. I don't want to get it on my R. I hope you guys can see. It's hard for me to paint and have you guys see at the same time, so I kind of got to pull it up where I can see. All right, let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, that'll be the color of his antlers. And I think I'm going to put like, put two coats on the antler part, too, because that you could really see through. But, you know, it's not necessary if you kind of like a little textured look into it. But I did give that two coats. So now, for his face, all I did was I put a little bit of white in with the brown that I just used. And actually, I may have made his face a little too light, but my paint was absolutely awful. Now, this one's much better. So let's mix this around and see if this one comes out better than my last one. Yeah, my last, that last jar of paint I had is just so old, it was literally lumpy. So I've been mixing it around, trying to paint with it, and the little white bubbles that were in there, whatever lumps, they were, you know, coming out of different colors. So I kind of made it pretty much this color, almost this skin tone, a little bit darker. And then I just went over his whole face with that, and his ears. Yeah, I got his little ear here. I don't know if I have this one exactly the same as the other one, but we're going to try. I think it's close enough. And I do think I want to put a little bit of pink inside of his ear. Oh, there's Rosie yelling. You guys got to be used to her screaming in the background. Alright, so that is kind of the color I used for his face. Maybe the other one is a little bit lighter. 
but that is all I did to get this thing painted. Like I said, the rest of it's red, and then get in all of your little nooks and crannies there, and we're going to set this one aside, and I'll bring out the one that I have that's already painted. So this is kind of what it looks like when it's all done, and the back is just red, and then there is the front. And I didn't get enough of this sanded off enough, because I see, still see a bunch of little bumpy things in there. But anyway, now what I did for his face is because I am not the best at make drawing eyes or anything. So I decided he's going to have his little eyes closed. So I just made like a little half, like a little half moon here with some eyelashes. And then I just kind of marked out where I want to put some pink in his ears. And that's what I'm going to do. And at first eyes, I'm actually going to use a Sharpie because I don't think I can actually paint something that little and have it look like an eyeball. So we're just going to try to mark this in with a Sharpie. So let's see how that's going to look. And then you can seal this with like Mod Podge or something too, so you don't, you know, worry about it. So let's see if I can trace this with my Sharpie. Because I don't want them to be real big eyes. Because he's a little deer. Oops, see I already made it too big. I'm not good with tiny detail. Alright, so there's his little eyes, and I'm going to give him little eyelashes. So let's see here. But yeah, if you draw it, just draw it on lightly with a pencil. And you know, if you don't like the way it turned out, you can erase it real simple on these. And just start over. But that's going to be his little eyes. So now on the ears, I think I'm going to try to erase that a little bit. Because I know the pink paint is not going to cover it. I don't know if it's going to be white enough or if I need to add a little white to this. Yeah, I think it's going to need a tiny bit of white. Because I just want it to be a real pale pink inside of his ear. So let's add a little white here and see what happens. Alright. Let's see. Here's a little brush. These are one of those little tiny brushes from Dollar Tree. These are really great. I'm just going to stir that around. Make it a nice pale, pale pink. That's better. Alright, so that's what we're going to use for his ears. There's my other brush. She's losing it. Alright, um, oh, my pencil. I just use a regular pencil, regular eraser, so I'm just going to try to erase most of this, just so I can barely see it. I just want to try to get in the same spot on both sides. There. So now I'm just going to try to add a little bit of this pink to his ears. Get all my eraser stuff off of there. like that. Now let's see which way I want to turn this so I can get it good. Alright. It's just kind of like a little triangle if you think of it that way. There we go. And that is it for his little ears. So now the last thing we've got to do here is to put on his little nose. So I took one of these. There's three different sizes in here. There's really tiny ones and there's big ones. So I took the medium size one. And we're just going to glue that right on there and turn this little deer into Rudolph. Well, as soon as I turn my hot glue gun on, we're going to glue that right on there. But anyhow, that's where it's going to be. I'm going to plug my glue gun in here and then I'll show show you what I'm going to do with my metallic paint. I told you I'm losing it today. I swore that I plugged that in. But anyway, there's where his little nose will be. So now I'm just going to take some of this metallic paint and I want something... I think it might work in here. 
and I'm going to use that little scoring tool from Dollar Tree that has the two different size with the dots and I'm going to go around and dot the edges of these letters. Now, sometimes I like to put like the dashes on here um, or the, the three little dots that I do sometimes but this one I'm just going to dot around. I'm kind of hoping it's going to look more like little Christmas lights or something. I was going to do it in white but then I remembered I had this uh, metallic silver so I want to give this a try and see how that's going to look. And if I don't like this one, well the next one I'll do with the white. But anyway, all I'm going to do with this is take the big side of my scoring tool, just dip it in the paint, and just make dots. Just keep going around the edge with this. Let me just do a few here. Just dip it in. And you kind of got to dip it each time so they come out the same. But I think that's going to look really cool. And I'm just going to go all the way around the edge, just kind of space them evenly. I'm not measuring or anything, but... And just get it, you know, close to the edge. And I figured this would be a good way, too, to kind of separate the letters over here, how they kind of just all blend together. But that's the idea. I'm just going to go all the way around all these letters with that. And I think that's going to look really cool. Yeah, I'm happy with the silver. I wasn't sure, because I haven't used it for this before. But I think that's going to work out great. Let me move this here. I keep getting out of camera because, like I tell you, I can't see behind me here. So let me get this back over here. So just dip and dot. That's it. You don't want to pick it up because it comes out, they're going to be kind of thick. You know what I mean? When you put them on. So you're going to want to leave it lay flat until it dries. It's real simple. There's nothing easier than that, right? So then, like I said here, you see how these are all like separate letters, but they're kind of all blended together. So I think this is going to work good, like to come down here and maybe go over a little bit and then down to make the, um, I think we can make the E just come down straight here like this. And then that way we can go over here and make this look more like the rest of the M. Nope, see, I'm out of camera. I don't think, this thing's a little bit big here, so. Anyway, kind of make this come straight down here, and then this will look more like the separation for the M. But I don't want to go all the way around all these letters here. And you could do this with glue and glitter too if you wanted to, but I'm trying to stay away from glitter for a little while here. Because I know very soon, once I get into all this Christmas decorating, it's going to be like glitter galore. Now when you like going down the other side, you know, like this M here, the letter, I'm going to do both sides. You kind of want to get it in between the dots from the other side so they're not, you know, so even. I think this is going to look really cool. They don't have to be perfectly spaced. But I'm going to just do a couple of these letters here. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this whole thing. That would be crazy. <clears throat> oh, jeez, I just dipped it in the wrong color. See, I turned it around. <laughs> oh, let me get a paper towel. Just need to wipe that off. All right. That's another great thing about this tool. All you gotta do is just wipe it off with something when you're done. So, let's see, I think I'm gonna make this go down right to this E here. And that'll finish that side off of the M. There's our M so far. Isn't that pretty cool? I don't want to hold it up here too long so it doesn't run. I really like that. So the same thing over here. I'm just going to kind of like take them down straight to separate these R's. 
and down this here, you know, straight down here to separate for the E. And I think that'll work out really good. So let me go ahead. I'm going to glue on his little nose. I really got to darken that in a little bit more because I can see the paint through it, and I don't like that. But it's real easy. So I'm going to put a little dot of glue on here. Rudolph's little nose, and that will be our little deer. See, I need to make that a little bit darker, a little bit thicker, I think, the um, marker there, because you can see the paint through it. But other than that, I think it's really cute. Alright, so let me finish doing my dots here. I may actually put another coat in his ears, too, because I don't like that. It looks kind of sloppy. I think that needs a second coat. So let me finish go putting on my dots, and then we'll come back and finish up. All right, guys, this is pretty much it. I'm just letting this dry a little bit. This is what it looks like when you have all your... And the light hits it. It looks really cool. So this would look nice with, you know, like some twinkly lights around it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this guy yet. You can hang this up. Like I said, it's got that nice hook on the back. You can set this up on a shelf because they do stand pretty decent if you have a nice... Yeah, okay. I'm not kidding. It really does stand up just fine. There you go. But they do stand up pretty good. I have little lumps and bumps of hot glue here. But, I mean, you could stand it, hang it, add it to a wreath, um, whatever you wanted to, and paint it however you want. But I just wanted to share with you guys my idea for this one for this week, and I'm going to finish up the next one, and who knows, that one may come out a little bit different. I don't know. But I will hang, uh, put a picture of this up hanging at the end of this video. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little project. I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone.